Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of epic 3D logo animations for YouTube channels or any intros in Adobe After Effects using Element 3D plugin easily. So I hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. Now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here we are in After Effects now let's start this by creating a new composition. So for that click on this new composition, come to this preset options, here I will be selecting this HD1080 which is a full HD resolution with a frame rate of 30 and duration let me change this to 15, 15 seconds, ok. So now let's start this by importing our logo onto this project panel. So for that right click on this project panel, import, select the file or else you can directly drag and drop your logo onto this project panel. So here I got this logo in illustration format. So now let me select this logo and drop it onto this timeline. So here you can see I got this biohazard logo. So since this is an illustration file, I will enable this continuous rasterize option. So now let's select this logo, come to this layer options, auto trace. So here channel should be alpha and rest and all we can leave like that only and hit OK. So here you can see we got a new layer created with the name auto trace. Nice. So now let's hide out both the layers. Okay. So now let's create a solid layer for elementary. So go to this layer options, new, create a solid. Let me rename this as element, make it of comp size and hit OK. So now come to this effects and presets. If you're not finding this panel here, go to this window and enable effects and presets and look for element. So here we got this element, select this element and drop it onto this element layer. So now come to this custom layer options first, custom text and mask. Here we need to select this auto tracer layer. So come to this path layer one and select this auto tracer layer. So this is the auto tracer layer of our logo. We need to select that in this layer one. So I have selected that one. So now click on this scene setup. So here we got new window open to work in elementary. So now we click on this extrude button. So here you can see as soon as I click on that we got our logo here. So here we got only single material. So here I want to add multiple materials or multiple bevels. So for that, let me select this extrusion model. Here we will get this bevel copies. I will change this to four. Okay. So now we will get four materials here. So first let me select this first one and let me come to this presets. Here I will be using this pro shaders. Select that pro shaders. And let me select this stone. And here I will be applying this stone fungus. So let me apply that onto this bevel one. So here I got that material applied onto that. So first let me change this UV repeat to 2 and 2. So we got the material. So now let me select this bevel 2 and let me apply another material for that. So I will apply metal onto that. So let me select this metal and let me apply this metal here. So I will apply this onto this bevel 2. And now I will expand edges. So here you can see we got that material and let me reduce the extrude value and let me place this Z offset here. So make sure we have selected the material and let me reduce the extrude to 0.1 and let me increase the expand edges to 0.75. Fine. And let me select this bevel 3. Let me apply the same material and also let me replicate the same values now let's use this z offset and let's place this here fine so we got these two bevels here so now let's select this fourth bevel and let me apply a metal onto that so select this metal and let me apply this metal bronze onto this so here you can see we got this metal bronze and let me select this and expand it just a bit okay so now you can see we got different materials here fine so here now I will duplicate this model so right click duplicate the model. So in this I will hide out this stone fungus and in this I will leave that stone fungus and rest of all I will hide that. Okay. So in this we will get this above material and rest of that we will get rest of the models. So now let me select this extrusion model right click aux animation and set it to channel 1. So now we can click on this ok button. So here you can see we got this logo here. So in order to view this in 3D space, we need to create a camera layer. So go to this layer options, new, create camera. And 
preset let it be 35 mm and hit ok so now let's animate the camera so let me select this unified camera tool or else let me select this zoom tool and let me make it here okay and let's rotate this one let me zoom this ahead here and also let me place this here like this okay so be on the first frame expand this camera options transform and add a keyframe for this point of interest and position so now move forward like six seconds in the timeline and let me change the position here and let me search z tool and let me expand this one and let me bring it here okay fine so here if i play this we will get this kind of animation so i think we need to reduce the speed so let me move it here we don't want that much of movement and also let it be here like this fine okay so now if i play this we got this slow movement nice so now beyond this keyframes where we have added so now Control shift plus d to split the layer or else you can go to this edit option and split the layer now select this second camera layer and let me make disable this keyframe and add a keyframes once again now let's change the camera angle so let me select this and let me rotate here like this fine and again move five seconds forward in them like 11 seconds and let me change the camera animation here a bit so i will change this track the camera tool and let me bring it here so now if i play this we can say we got this camera animation added into this scene nice so now let's move on to this keyframe so beyond this keyframe select this camera layer again split it by ctrl shift d or else go to this edit and split after that let's select this third camera layer and let's remove this keyframes and let's reset this one so that we'll get this logo at the center and now let's add a keyframe now move one second or two seconds forward in timeline or let's one and a half seconds and add another keyframe so now move forward to these keyframes and let's zoom it up here like this fine and also let's change the position okay so let it be here like this and now if i play this we'll get this zoom out animation nice so now select this camera layer come to this camera options enable this depth of field and let the aperture be 100 and distance let's change this to 200 uh, so we got this focus here so let me reduce this distance to 100 so that we'll get the focus here and let me reduce the aperture to 50 so this is fine and also let me reduce the blur level to 75 okay this is good so add a keyframe for this focus distance and come to this end of frame camera frame press o on the keyboard to come to the last frame here and now change the focus distance so i'll change the focus distance here a bit so select this second camera layer expand this camera options enable depth of field and let's reduce the distance to 400 i think no let's reduce the distance to 100 once again so that we got this focus here add a keyframe for focus distance and move to the last frame for this camera and also let's change the focal distance value to 350 so that we got this focus here or else let's change this to 250 okay so for this third camera we don't want that we don't we don't want any depth of field here so let's select this camera layer and disable this depth of field okay so now okay fine so now again select this element layer so we got this stone material in aux channel one so come to this group one aux channels channel one so now select this position z and add a keyframe for that and let me change this to 0 0.01 okay and again let me come to this last frame of this camera layer press o on the keyboard again select this element layer and let me change this value to minus 0 0.05 so this is fine and again move one frame forward and again let me change this position z value to zero and select this second camera layer move to the last frame 
again select this element layer and let me change this to minus 0.05 so that we get this material outwards nice so now if i play this we will get this material expanding outwards in this scene here so finally let's add some fire particles and smoke so here i got this few assets from vectiz download link in the description so let me add that so before that, let me move to the project scroll down and let me drag this orange color smoke fire particles drop it onto this timeline and make it below to this element layer move it below to the element layer okay so that we got this one so let me duplicate this one as the time length is of only 10 seconds and let's drop smoke asset also so select this and drop it here so we got this smoke so let's bring it below to the element layer so let it be here like this or else let it be above to the fire particles and blend mode let's change this to add so now let's add a solid layer so go to this layer options new create a solid make it of comp size hit ok so let's enable this title and action select this mask tool and let's mask this out here okay and come to this mask options invert this one fine and again add another solid layer so go to this layer options new create a solid make it of comp size also hit ok so now let's change this mask to ellipse double click on that ellipse and invert this one also so now press f on the keyboard and increase the feather like this now we can reduce the transparency so select this solid layer press t on the keyboard and reduce the transparency to 35 so now if i play this you can see we got this nice looking epic logo animations in adobe after effects using element 3d plugin easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.